Hey guys, so I wanted to make this video. This is sort of just a tour of my basement. This is my, my print farm as it is now on uh, January, I believe it is January 14th. Hey Google, turn on basement lights. So here as we walk down to the basement, here is my setup for all of my computer related stuff. So here's my laptop where I will slice the STL files. I have two Rolo thermal printers that I print. One has a dedicated 4x6 label, and one is a dedicated 3x1 labels for the Amazon FN SKUs here. And here's just some, it's corner, it's kind of a mess, but here I have an actual printer down here. This used to be a desk for things that I had, uh, like finished prints that I was selling. I would put all the finished prints from the print farm onto the table, and then I would pick them as I were, were as I was shipping out the shipping labels. So over here, there's the steps. Over here is kind of the entrance to the print farm here. Um, so this table is where I do most of my work with the, with the 3D printing in terms of soldering electronics, uh, using the heat gun to get off the wisps off the, uh, 3D printer products. I have all of my tools here and, uh, accessories and whatnot here and here. And then I have a shop light here that's not currently on. And then over here is the print farm. So my current setup in my print farm, I have three bamboo X1 carbons, the three here. And then over here are my P1S printers. So I have five, I have six in total. Five of them are down here. I have three here. One, two, three. I'll two in the back over there. And so I have four P1S printers with the AMS system. And then I have two standalone P1S printers. One's here and one is upstairs in the other print farm area. Here are these racks. These are the muscle racks that I bought off, off Lowe's. And each of these are currently holding six bamboo P1 P machines each. So I have six here. Well, then I have another six over here. So 12 in total on these two racks. And then two more P1 P printers up here for a total of 14. P1P printers, and share the other two P1S printers back here with the AMS system. And then I also set up these racks here, kind of directly behind the printer. So my workflow is basically, you know, as the, the print finish off the bed here, I kind of just take them off. If they need to be, you know, heat gunned or prepared or whatever, I would bring them over to this desk here. If they didn't need to be, I would just, I have bins even here, but I have bins of product here that, you know, I just take them off the build plate here, and then I just dump them into specific bins. I have all these bins up here, which are currently empty, and then this is where I store all of my, uh, all of the boxes that where the, the plastic comes, um, I, I, I reuse these as shipping boxes. Instead of recycling them and buying boxes, these actually, these boxes actually were perfect for, uh, shipping product out, which which is what I do and it kind of saves down on money and also recycling. And you know, I just reusing those I think is a, is a pretty smart thing to do if you're not doing that already. And so I operate the farm currently. Everything is done on the micro SD cards for now. Uh, I, I rarely print from Bamboo Studio or from the Bamboo Handy app. I find that just Slicing a file and finding the settings that you want. If you're doing repetitive printing for that same product, it just works better with the SD card. It's much quicker. You know, I can take this off and just reprint each printer as I, as I take it off the build plate and then move on. And then so back this way is more racks here. Uh, this used to be my filament rack where I would just put all the filament that I wrote from random suppliers, different colors. And I, ha I have filament here, and I also have filament on top of these racks here, all along here, just for easy access. And so I do plan on moving in a couple of weeks, so I'm, I'm keeping these boxes from uh, Bamboo Labs for some of the printers. Not all the printers I kept the boxes for, but the ones that I have the boxes for. I'm going to just use these to transport uh, the printers, hopefully in a, in a safe in a safe manner. And back here is kind of my shipping station. So here are just some shipping boxes. Uh, I think these are like five by five. These are six by six by six. Over here is the, uh, I have a half bath in here with a, this is my cute Lego man toilet paper, toilet paper holder. 
And over here is the uh sort of the prep uh the packing station. I have more boxes down here. I have paper here. And then I dump all the orders and stickers like here back every day and just bring them to the post office every day. So that's kind of just a quick little tour of uh my current setup of my print farm in the basement of my home. And there are 22 printers down here. And I have about, I think, seven. No, I have five printers upstairs. So my current print farm in my home consists of 27 printers in total. All right. And like I said, I'll be moving out of the space in the next few weeks. I'll uh, see if I can document that process. It should be fun. I'll probably end up renting a U-Haul and just taking, you know, one or two days to disassemble everything and, and move everything to the new spot. All right. So I got, I'll see you guys in the next video.